whenever you want to tr uh, bring on a new variety to market, you uh, have enough budwood sometimes, but you don't have enough rootstock because you need you need uh, one rootstock per tree, of course. And today, that those rootstocks are not available because of the fact that uh, nurseries have been growing them in soil. Now, once you have something in soil, the rates of multiplications are very low. It takes about four to five years to get enough rootstocks, but it's limited by land. Uh, then you have events like weather events. You also have issues with mix-ups. So that kind of, uh, it's a sort of a complex problem that feeds into that bottleneck. So that's kind of an existing problem. We've done this in the past for a very long time, but you know, some of the chemicals are being phased out, which you use for as fungicide or pesticides. You can't use them anymore. So that plant material that's growing in the soil is continuously being exposed to the elements of nature, which kind of depletes the, the quality that finally gets to a finished tree nursery. So that's kind of the complex issue of uh, shortage of uh, or bottleneck in rootstocks. But the other part is, if you if you have new rootstocks coming in, how do you plant them? Where do you plant them? Because nurseries are not buying more and more land to grow these things. So everybody has limited land capacity. So what we've done is basically, we have taken away our process from soil. So it's a soil free process and it's done under controlled environments which kind of frees it from the uh, attacks of the season as well. So that's where we are able to address that problem. Tissue culture is one part of the process. Uh, tissue culture is basically uh, a technique to grow plant material in aseptic conditions with artificial nutrition that you provide through uh, having a gel with macro and micronutrients and phytohormones that are all you know, available just in soil. Uh, and this process involves growing and multiplying these things into, in, in the box and then moving it to greenhouse. So let me explain. When a plant is growing in the soil, it's trying to do multiple things at a time. It's trying to grow its roots, shoots, face the environment. So from an engineer perspective, from a workflow perspective, if you break it down that you just allow the plant to multiply, it's not making any roots, it's not making too many shoots, but just enough so that each bud can make four or five nodes every four weeks, and then after four weeks, you take that bunch out, chop it up, create single plantlets, and start all over again. So what you've done is you have streamlined the process or parallelized the process for just multiplication and then have enough numbers. And you've taken out the risk of pathogens in soil. You've taken out the risk of season in the process so that the farmer or a finished tree nursery can get all the plants it needs at one go. I think this is the future. Uh, we need efficiency, we need to reduce risk. So combining these processes, and also the other thing we do is make sure that each and every plant is genetically certified to be the same kind. You have heard a lot of stories that in the past, apple rootstocks have been mixed up, there have been other rootstocks that have been mixed up which have gone unnoticed. Uh, if a farmer or a tree nursery knows that it's working with the right rootstock, in the end, the farmer's happy, the consumer is happy, the nursery's happy.